Hey everyone, and welcome to Prismic Chronicles. Every month we are presenting you all the new features that we release to the product, this presented by the team. And this month we have a lot, like improvement in the developer experience, on the page building experience with the new media library and integration field, and new AI feature. So I'll let you with the team to discover all this, and then I'll come back for a presentation. Hi everyone, it's Guy here from the Page Builder team. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what we've been working on this month uh, for the March edition of the Prismic Chronicles. So the Page Builder team, we have two priorities at the moment. One is around uh, having feature parity with the legacy uh, editor. So you can do everything that you used to be able to do in Prismic in the new Page Builder. And the second one has been working on one of our most requested features, which is the new media library. So jump straight into it. So one of the things that we've been working on to get feature parity with the Legacy editor is custom labels, so it's a really cool feature um, that some people like to use for adding more flexibility for their content editors. So with these custom labels, it's super simple. I mean, basically you can see here, they're already applied um, and you can see the little highlight there. But if I do want to add more, I simply highlight the text, access the labels and I choose the labels that I want. And it's as simple as that. So if you have custom labels in any of your repositories and any of your custom types, um, you can now use those in the page builder. One of the other things that we've been working on this month is supporting integration fields. So up to now it hasn't been supported in the page builder. It's now there. It's pretty simple. Basically, if you have an integration field in your page type or in your custom type, you simply click on the field you'll see a list of all the catalogs here. Mine are nicely numbered just as an example, um, but you can search. So actually I want number 30, numbers there. I click it, I add it to my page. Uh, simple as that. So again, uh, a really powerful feature, the integration fields, we're not super popular um, with a bunch of our users. So really excited to now support that in the page builder. The other thing that I wanted to demo today, uh, as we mentioned at the last meetup, we're working a lot on the new media library. So we're starting to roll out the new features there. The first one being uh, the new search. So the idea is highly performant, really easy to find what you're looking for. So just a quick demo here, as you can see, here's my media library. Um, so obviously with the Euros coming up and Prisma being based in France, um, we have a lot of French footballers, things like that, some images of Mbappe, but I'm just gonna do a quick search on Mbappe just to demonstrate. You'll see there, um, regardless of where it is in the file name, um, it's picking up and highlighting why those images have been returned. Um, so yeah, you can expect more in the coming weeks with the new media library, but again, progressively rolling out those features. Um, so once you do have that new search, we'd love to hear your feedback, um, see how we can improve things and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it for this month. Um, from the page builder team looking forward to sharing more updates with you soon and in the next edition of the chronicle Hi, this is Com from the DevTools team at Prismic. Today I wanted to show you a new feature that we just launched in Slice Machine the responsive menu. We know that a lot of developers actually do back and forth, a lot of them between their models in Slice Machine and their code in their code editor and we wanted that experience to be even more productive. Also simply by uh, letting them display Slice Machine and their code side by side, just like that. Let me show you. So now I can display Slice Machine on a smaller screen with that smaller menu. So I can easily navigate in Slice Machine, just like that. And at the same time on my code on the same screen. Voila, that's it for me. I hope you liked it and I wish you a good end of the week and stay tuned because for the next month, we are going to prepare some cool, exciting topics and I'm super excited to show you. Bye bye. Hi there, Elena here, product manager at Prismic, and I want to show you some cool updates to the migration API. The first thing I want to show you is that it's now possible to update both a draft document as well as a document that's planned in a release via the migration API. This really helps with bulk updates that you might need to do in your um, in your repository. And this was previously not possible. So previously it was only possible to um, update a already published version. And you can see here um, for my uh, release example, I have it in an unscheduled release and I've also created a version on top of it in the migration release. Same thing if I go back to the 
document here, my draft document. I have a version that's uh, in a draft state and I've got a version right here. And if we toggle, I can see this one's a draft that's never been published. This one that's in my migration release ready to be um, published is an update of a draft that never that's never been published. So the second cool thing I want to show you is really going to help with um, troubleshooting and um, just peace of mind once you have uh, once you've once you have um, have made those updates, uh, made those update requests, as you can see, here's my, my updates to my draft and release document. Once you've done that, um, we've added a feature here that's gonna make it much easier for you to um, have more peace of mind and, and to check also um, individual fields in the migrated content by clicking in here. So this now um, allows you from the migration release to also see the detail view of your document. And you can um, you can even edit it here. Oops, that's a mistake. I can edit that and save it before I publish it. So this just gives you more, more flexibility around, um, around the documents that you are creating via the migration API. Hope you've enjoyed the updates. Thanks. Hey, it's me again, and I'm here to present you Smart Copy Paste. It's a simple feature that will allow any team that work on Google Doc or Notion to create the content to move this content very fast to Prismic. So here, as you can see, I have a migration API copy document that is like the text for the new migration API page that is going to be used to promote the migration API. I will click on add the slice and this new button AI Smart Copy Paste, paste the content here, and from there, just select a piece of text and allocate the proper slice that uh, corresponds to the test. So here, a hero, in that case, um, an argument, alternated, uh, altering, uh, alternating image text. Do the same for this one. This would be a call to action. Cool. This would be some kind of feature grid. Let's look at if I have one. Yeah, this one looks perfect. And this looks like a FAQ. I don't think I have a FAQ for, uh, as a slice for this specific content, so I will select a regular text one. Let's go. And so as you saw, in less than 30 seconds, I was capable of turning a Notion document into a Prismic page that I can preview here, add the slice, and then have all those slices in the table of slice with the content sections and cut it in the proper places, having all the relevant content to the proper field, and this in a matter of seconds. So this is available in beta, Please, if you want to access it, reach out to us and we'll be able to activate it for you. I hope that you enjoyed everything that we presented to you and we have even more exciting things coming up in April. In the meantime, you can drop a comment on the things that you would like to see and meet us in a month. See you!